We have a follow-up on a story we brought to you last week about a church in southeast Portland allowing people to camp on their property, creating safety and cleanliness concerns amongst surrounding neighborhoods. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy went back to the church today and tells us how some in the congregation are feeling about the camp. Well, since being here on Tuesday, some of the campers have left the parking lot, but as you can see here behind me, there is still a lot of garbage on site. I spoke to one man who volunteers at the church. He says the congregation has mixed feelings about allowing people to camp on the property. For him, he'd like to see something change. I can remember when this place was clean as a pan. Roy Birch has been a member of the Monteville United Methodist Church congregation for six decades. He says there was a time when tents, garbage, and vandalism didn't exist on his church's property. It's a shame what's happening here and uh, they're breaking windows that I've replaced and that's not an easy job because they're stained glass windows. Burge understands the harm of allowing an unsupervised camp to exist on private property. It just bothers me that they turn up my church after all these years. It's a nice community here and a lot of people doesn't want all this garbage here. Since I last visited the church last week, tents, cars and garbage have been cleared from the parking lot. This is what it looked like just a few days ago. And I had a man helped me Friday me get a, a, a double axle trailer out of here so it could be towed because they won't tow uh, trailers when they're in the parking lot. According to Portland Police, they responded to 12 out of two dozen service calls to the church and surrounding neighborhoods since December 1st, 2023. These 24 calls include welfare checks, suspicious subjects, assault, threat with a weapon, unwanted person, burglary, and vandalism. Since people are camping on private property, the city of Portland says they can't go in and clear it out. The city says they've responded to the camp, sending out assessment teams through Central City Concerns Clean Start program to the church seven times in the last month. They also say outreach teams have been visiting the location weekly since mid-December. Burge says he feels sad for those who are experiencing homelessness and wants to help, but he says this isn't the answer. It's God's building. We're supposed to forgive people. We're not supposed to uh, be uh, causing a war or something within our neighborhoods. Once again, I did try to reach out to the church for a comment, but staff say the pastor has been out of town, but she is willing to make a statement. Now, if she does, we'll keep you updated on air and online at kptv.com. But for now, in Southeast Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.